Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now this video is pretty special as it contains some of my biggest animals for certain species and also a really cool rare and we are going to be starting off with this brown bear male here on Hemeldoll at one of my bear barrel feeders. Now when I saw this male come in I thought his head looked particularly broad and so I hit record just in case he was something special and he did end up being my personal best brown bear and not only that he is a leaderboard brown bear according to the super rare gallery 28 and up is mounter however this guy at 27.874 is actually on the current leaderboard for brown bear and seeing as he was a gold fur type as well which is a fur type i really like i thought that i'd definitely send him to the lodge because it's a leaderboard animal if an animal's good enough to get on a leaderboard it's good enough in my opinion to go in my trophy lodge so that was really really cool to get him off of the bear barrel i did end up buying the trophy poses and ended up managing to get a really nice pose for him because i really wanted to show off that broad head and just how awesome he looked and yeah so that was just the start of <laughs> all of these big animals Now with this pheasant I kind of messed up. I should have hit record and I should have shot him off the ground. He ended up being my personal best pheasant with a score of 28. I didn't even think that he was that big until I checked the super rare gallery and checked the leaderboards to see what was there. I have included a screenshot of what he scored which was 28.428 and had I shot him off the ground he would have been on the leaderboard. And then I came on to Hirschfelden again and was shooting pheasants just for fun because I just set up a wild boar feeder and was just killing time waiting for that to become active and this guy ran out of the tree line right as I was just trying to shoot another male pheasant and immediately I recognised what it was. That's a melanistic and I started freaking out because I know how much people in the community really love these particular rares for the pheasants. Like, I have seen so, so much stuff. When, when someone gets a rare pheasant, it's something to be excited about. They're not particularly common. And so I just really was so excited to actually see something that I knew was really, really quite rare. And a rare pheasant, something I didn't have. I don't have any rare, or didn't have any rare birds in my lodges at all. Plenty of rare deer and, well, I'm now starting to get other species that have like decent sizes or rare. And so I couldn't believe it because I've barely hunted pheasants. Like I said, the one from before, that was my biggest one at the 28 scoring one. And that was just while I, just after I'd set up the, the boar feeder and I was just running around thinking, oh, I'll just see what it's about. Anyway, as you saw, that melanistic pheasant did start running off. And the thing was, and it was my own stupid fault, is because of what had happened with the other one, I thought, right, I'll try and make sure to shoot this guy off the ground because he did, did look a decent size. But he just was no fun to track because obviously they can fly. So he was flying. And then I'd have to look around for his track because he was going in different directions. He ended up looping back on himself and it was just a horrible track that stressed me out so much because I thought I was going to lose him. So you are going to see me make the second mistake of this video if I, you know, I'll hold my hands up and say, you know, probably wasn't the right move here. That I did decide to shoot this guy on the ground but I was like, oh, he's there. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, try and and try and track him again or lose him but i did think while he was hunkered down i'd just take a look at him through the scope and see what the score estimate was like if he had been had well weight estimate at that point sorry not score estimate i didn't have the score estimates yet i do now after running around shooting more pheasants tonight but i was kind of on the on the wavelength or thought path that it's a rare and okay yeah he would have been on the leaderboard as a rare but I just wanted him down. I did not want to lose a melanistic pheasant because like I said, he was just such a pain to track and I just didn't I just didn't want to lose him. 
So if you're out there and you are more of a purist of classic and you'll only shoot birds off the ground, I do apologise. But I really didn't want to lose this guy. If I see another one in future, then I will push to get it off the ground if it's any kind of decent size. However, I just wanted to get this guy down. I just didn't want to be tracking him for any more time because he's just an awesome bird and I'm absolutely thrilled to have one. I'm so, so, so lucky. And I will just say, basically, if you don't play classic, what I'm talking about with the leaderboard and the scores is if your bird of any species, so whether it's ptarmigan or pheasant or something like that, other than turkeys, because they're pretty much ground birds anyway, they only fly a little distance, but these birds that can, that can fly a decent distance, anything like that, if you shoot it on the ground, you don't get classed for the leaderboards. So even though he is technically a score that could have been on the leaderboard, he won't be counted for the leaderboards because I shot it, shot it on the ground. So that's what I'm talking about when I say about shooting them on the ground. But anyway, I'll just let you have a little bit more of a look at this absolutely gorgeous bird. The, the green, the bottle green c contrasting with the red of their face, Oh, it's just so beautiful. So anyway, I'll leave you to have a look at that guy for a minute and then I'll move on to the next animal of this video. So here is the final animal of this video that I wanted to share with you guys. An absolutely huge roebuck. And when I say huge, I mean huge. This guy is a something so special. He was one of the first animals to come into this bear barrel area after... Because basically what I did is I ran around on Hirschfelden, got those two pheasants... And then I thought, oh, I'll check my bear barrel again because it's active again after I'd shot at it earlier and yeah he was one of the first things to come in because i always call for roe deer reindeer moose and lynx because i get all of those species here as well as the brown bear that you'd expect at the barrel when i saw the score estimate on that guy i thought okay i need to hit record because one that is the biggest roebuck i have ever seen and two that is the biggest score estimate i have ever seen so he might be something quite special and it turned out he was. He was something very, very special and something that I can't really hope to top for Roebuck. To be honest, if he is the biggest Roebuck I ever get in this game, I will be happy because he is... he's huge! He is absolutely huge! I have been looking for a Roebuck of the Mounter score, which is 200 or bigger, since since starting, basically, because Roe Deer are... I'm from England. And roe deer are very prevalent in England, and I see them a lot in real life, and so they're something I was drawn to in the game and trying to get a, a really big one. And then this guy comes along. 241 scoring Roebuck. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that, because I thought that I would be lucky to get a 200 because every single time I have shot one thinking it would be big it's been like a 160. I think like the biggest I'd had before this was a 170 and I just couldn't believe it when I saw that he was a 241 and I thought this this has to be on the leaderboards that you know this has to be something pretty big when anything over 200 is considered good so I checked the leaderboards and sure enough he was and as I have done with the other animals I will show you where he was on the leaderboard and yeah I'm just absolutely thrilled with this guy. 
like I said, I can't hope to top him really. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching what has been an absolutely awesome day and a bit of hunting. And yeah, like I said, I